Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here standing towards you all to start moving towards accomplishing the tasks that are before us. With sincere gratitude, I would like to thank the visionaries and missionaries of this institution for having given me this opportunity to speak on the topic quality in education. Quality education. Where can we add quality to education? If we don't find quality in the word education itself, where do we stand now? On a fine morning, pleasant morning, a precious life, beautiful life on a railway platform, hacked to death by some uncivilized mind. It is now tormenting us like anything. We are restless and we know what to do to oppose all these evil forces in the society. But when I went through the, one of the articles written in the magazine Junior Wicked and I could see something there. The education, the present education we are practicing was very much questioned by one columnist. He raised one question about that. Where is our education? What happened to the person when he was about to do this work? So through quality education, if we want to give answers for this question, I would like to say a few things about it. Where is quality in our education? If you look at the present scenario, we are now standing in the year 2016, witnessing vast growth in technology and booming period of economic prosperity. We believe that things will get better and better every day. But if we look at the things happening outside, around us, the system is now being questioned. Where are we now? What is that we can do? When Muhammad Ali was denied permission to enter into one of the clubs run by white men, he raised a question about this. He immediately threw the gold medal which he won into the river of Ohio and he raised a question, why is this prejudice? If I am not treated as an equal personality here, where can I go? So I want my young children, the students of this institution and the students who have come from the other institutions, please raise some questions. If there is any inequality, there is no quality. And if you want to add that the small word extra, it makes the word extraordinary. To make ordinary, to become extraordinary, we need to do some more stuff, some more work. How are we going to do this one? Into this world, from the eye of Greece, four different personalities with their uh, complexities in the philosophical concepts, they wanted to revolutionize this world. First came Socrates. He said that Education is what we are not pouring into the vessel. Education is what is like kindling the flame. He said it is equivalent to kindling the flame. If the teachers of this society do not kindle the flame, quality education will not come. 
then came the second great personality plato came he said that if education starts the life of a person then education will decide the future of the person then came aristotle the student of uh, plato he said that if there is a thought and the educated mind can entertain that th thought without even knowing the consequences of it and finally came the great alexander he said that if my mind can see anything in this world and my heart can conceive that i can achieve it there is nothing impossible in this world that i can achieve if i am given the power by my teacher so he said that i am indebted to my parents for my living but to my teacher for living well so my dear students as we are sitting here under this great exalted place i would urge you all of you to just think about your future we are thinking about 2017 2020 but what is you are thinking in your mind anything that happens to your mind anything that is important to your life which happens only between this year and this year this is how close it is any beautiful thought anything that is there in your life it evolves from the thought be it institution or get corporation or uh, making a business or doing anything in this world thought is very very important if you think in a proper way in your mind if you think it definitely you can achieve it so everything starts from the thought the very thought that you have in your mind we are having wonderful uh, elements in this uh, document nice document how we are going to be in 2035 but if we lose our sight if we lose the ability of thinking about our future children are very very important the students are very very important the teachers also must play the role of giving them some thought even if you go to church or mosque or any place i would urge you to ask god only to give some thought to you what is money in this world money cannot do anything in this world so ask for a thought ask for an idea ask for a plan ask for a strategy always ask for some input with which you can live in this world and before i would like to conclude i would like to say one more thing when john f kennedy stepped into his office the first thing he said to his uh, country people i don't know how much time it will take for me to consolidate all these plans like what we had in this uh, document i don't know what will happen to my country there are many tasks ahead of me to do but one thing i will do let me start today so after hearing all these things please take a decision teachers and my dear children please take a decision you please move away from this place with the thought of implementing all these ideas which you have been receiving from the eminent personality with that i would like to say thank you thank you one and all thank you thomas may i request aarti to